Could the Arctic be hiding ancient frozen creatures from millions of years ago? What about discovering a new species thought to be extinct? These cold, frigid waters even harbor underwater spiders. Hidden beneath the surface of the ice at 600 below is a secret ecosystem that no one knew about. It had been long since speculated that there were hidden rivers and lakes beneath the surface, but the process in finding such proof haven't ended in much success, let alone giving any hints that there would be life living in these frigid environments. But boy, were they wrong. Discovered in the Larsen Ice Shelf, which also gave way to the largest iceberg in 2021, scientists got very curious when they discovered what appeared to be an unusual groove within the ice. They labeled it as a subsurface river and decided on drilling through the ice with a powerful hot water hose to discover more of a potential underground chamber. Once the camera was sent down there, the feedback they were getting was confusing as flecks of something was obstructing the view. It wasn't until they focused the camera when they realized their equipment was being swarmed by shrimp like creatures. Craig Stevens, who is a physical oceanographer, stated, having all those animals swimming around our camera means there's clearly an important ecosystem process happening there. Obviously though, they were worried that with the rapid changes of our planet's temperature, these little guys might end up getting the short end of the stick. And Arctic octopuses that can somehow withstand the extremely low temperatures of these icy waters. And I mean cold. The temperatures of these waters can drop to as low as negative 2 degrees Celsius. Here in Canada, where I'm at, our waters in December go as low as only 5.1 degrees Celsius in winter. These oddball octopuses have three hearts that pump a special type of blue blood around their bodies, along with cold adapted enzymes that many other creatures have that choose to live in permanently frigid waters. They're also apparently venomous, with the liquid that they use has a very interesting protein to it that helps its prey go into a drowsy effect when targeted. Another interesting fact about these octopuses, scientists are using its DNA to back up the theory of a giant ice sheet collapsing roughly 40,000 years ago when the earth was slightly warmer than it is today. The Antarctic octopuses and the ones that are closer to the mainland have similar genetic materials, causing scientists to speculate if the last possible major ice sheet collapse made ways for marine life to intermingle with each other from such different locations. With a potential new collapse coming our way, scientists wonder what this could mean for humans. One million year old DNA was discovered 178 meters beneath the ice, making it the oldest known DNA found in seafloor sediments. Scientists describe these genetic samples as unusual because they are unable to really pinpoint whose DNA it is. The one thing they do know is that it's not from bacteria, but rather plant, fungi, or even an animal. The oldest frozen DNA that was found before then was in the Arctic permafrost that only dated back to 6,500,000 years ago. So to have this discovery be made was a huge deal. Thankfully, these organisms are able to stay intact for so long due to the extreme temperatures. But with our Earth coming to a dangerously warm, continuous climate, who knows how long that'll be the case for. The only other thing that they were able to clarify on the DNA was that the majority of it belonged to diatoms, which is a species of phytoplankton that still makes its appearance in our world today. It gives scientists a really good insight as to how our world evolved over time, especially with the theory of Pangaea and how other discoveries, such as dinosaurs, dinosaurs were found in the Arctic as well. There was a creature that actually tried to hibernate in those frigid conditions. Known as the Lystrosaurus, this little guy's husks are believed to showcase some interesting discoveries about its species from 250 million years ago. Scientists are beginning to realize that hibernation isn't as recent as they once believed, but rather an extremely ancient practice. Before mammals and dinosaurs even evolved, these creature species show proof of vertebrates going through a similar state to which it would lower its metabolic rate to get through tough seasons. They sadly had no teeth, but thankfully had a pair of tusks and can grow up to 8 feet long. The tusks are extremely important because it allowed researchers to figure out what their metabolism was, their growth, and even their physiological state when it came to stress. And this animal was apparently going through some prolonged periods of stress too, based on some missing components in comparison to their cousins in warmer regions. Because of their crazy adaptability, living through the Great Wipeout and continuing on for 5 million years past that, they probably had to deal with the changes Antarctica was going through, going from a theorized forested area to the cold, desolate wasteland it is today. Some species think that the deep seas of the Arctic are perfect for large nesting grounds. This highly populated area reaches out to about 240 square kilometers and is just east of the Antarctic Peninsula. 
This was another accidental find through a large German research ship who wanted to study more on marine life. They went about breaking through ice and tossing in cameras that would go half a kilometer down towards the sea floor. And what they saw was fantastic. 75 centimeter wide nests, with one adult keeping an eye on them and 2100 eggs to look out for. Imagine that, but taking up the span of 240 square kilometers. In the area they researched, however, estimated that there were over 12,000 adult fish in the daycare. The fish create these nests by digging into the gravel with their pelvic fins, and the total they accounted for were 16,160. That's a lot of fish babies in just one calculated area. What they estimated, however, over the entire 240 square kilometers had to be about 60 million nests total. The article ends off with a lesson, stating, The popular belief is that the deeper you go in the ocean, the more life becomes sparse. I think there are going to be other areas beyond the Antarctic that are going to hold fantastic zoological finds. A snail, that's also a fish, does exist. And its species apparently broke the world record for the deepest fish in the world. It doesn't have scales, but instead has a gelatinous body and thrives so far deep in the ocean that many scientists consider it inhabitable inhabitable by other marine life. Its semi-transparent body is due to its high water content, which also elevates the intense pressure of the deep sea on its squishy little body. It is quite small, and only grows to about 4 to 6 inches. They'll also help keep the zooplankton population, as well as other small invertebrates, low and stable. Their species has been found even as far down as 6,500 feet, really showing scientists how certain species are able to adapt. They also like to swim with their buddies although they can be seen on their own for most of the time. Their interactions are very subtle, as they will hover over one another close in proximity, probably also for more protection from predators. Still very cute. Sea spiders. If you think the ocean couldn't get any scarier, you're wrong. With this creepy guy living in an environment where it doesn't really have that many predators, it can grow to about 30 centimeters in diameter. They like to chill just 1800 meters deep along the coast of the Antarctic. Despite its name, however, they're not part of the arachnid family at all, nor are they a crustacean, but rather a marine arthropod. A really cool fact about this guy too, because of its small body, all of its vital organs are kept within its legs legs. But since they literally only suck the life out of their prey due to their noses or what have you, they don't bite. They're also not venomous, so they pretty much just spend all their time going around the deep sea looking for food and potential partners. They've also been around for an extremely long time, with scientists estimating it to around 500 million years. They look like they have too. A completely colorless fish due to having no red blood cells whatsoever, but rather filled with white ones instead, the crocodile ice fish. This is caused by having no hemoglobin which is what carries oxygen throughout our bodies, and thus giving them their white, grayish appearance. What scientists don't understand is that the creature is still getting oxygen somehow, despite not having this key trait. One theory suggests it's because they live in oxygen-rich environments, and they absorb the oxygen through their skin. Their hearts could also possibly be bigger and have more plasma. They are given their name simply because their head shape, among their species, resembles that of a crocodile. I personally don't see it though. They are also a fish species that don't have scales, much like our friend the snailfish, and have an antifreeze protein in their body that keeps them safe from the frigid temperatures. For some insight, regular fish that we know of have something called a gas bladder, which helps keep their buoyancy. However, with the ice fish, they don't have that, so they're located more on the ocean's bottom. But their skeleton is much lighter, which aids in allowing them to swim up higher at night to capture prey. Would you be brave enough to explore the frozen depths of the Antarctic? Let me know in the comments below, and I might just join you in on that. Keep it creepy out there. Want to see more videos like this one? Check out this video next. It's about real alien sightings that the government doesn't want you to see. Click the video now to find out more. What are you waiting for?